What a disturbing and beautiful book The Lovely Bones by Alice Sebold is about how a tragedy changes a family and a community for a long time after it happens. The story is mostly told from the point of view of Susie Salmon, a 14-year-old girl who is brutally killed in the first few pages. Being in the afterlife, Susie can see how her loved ones are dealing with their sadness and trying to move on with their lives. The story starts with a full account of how Susie was killed, which sets a sad and thoughtful tone for the rest of the book. Sebold's writing about this event is both scary and compassionate, focusing on how pointless the violence was and how valuable every life is. This sad beginning is a strong reminder of how short life is and how important it is to enjoy every moment. As the story goes on, Susie watches over her family from her own personal heaven. Jack, her father, becomes obsessed with finding her killer, and Abigail, her mother, shuts herself off because she can't handle the loss. Lindsay, her sister, has a hard time being the only child still alive, and Buckley, her brother, has a hard time understanding death at a young age. The way Sebold handles the complicated feelings of each character shows how people deal with loss and sadness in different ways. A big idea in The Lovely Bones is getting over loss and moving on. Susie needs to learn to let go of the things that hold her back on earth and accept her new life. The people in her family are also going through the same thing, and they are all finding their own way to heal. Even though the pain of loss never goes away fully, the book shows that it is possible to find a new normal and find joy in life again. The way the community responded to Susie's death is another important part of the book. People who aren't related to the tragedy are caught up in the web of sadness and confusion that forms after it happens. Sebold looks at how a loss like this can change many people's lives by writing about the ripple effects. One useful thing you can learn from The Lovely Bones is how important it is to let yourself grieve in your own time and way. Getting over a loss is a very personal process, and this book shows that there is no right or wrong way to do it. The book also shows how important support systems are, whether they are family, friends, or people in the community, when going through the hard process of loss. In the end, The Lovely Bones is a deep look at love, loss, and how family bonds last a lifetime. Alice Sebold's writing style is both moving and deep, giving readers a new way to think about what happens after a tragedy. The book is a lesson of how strong the human spirit is and how it can heal, even after the worst terrible things happen.